That's the thing. There's always going to be a caliber of women that go for those type of men. They're they're the same caliber of people. I, I don't know what else to tell you. Like I can I wish women would raise their standards. And but there are many of us that that's not our standard. But there are women who are lost. They didn't have their daddies a lot of the time, and they are lost. And unfortunately, they choose those type of men. And it's really unfortunate. I, I re it is, but we can't save everybody. All right, I agree. But I, don't make that woman your wife. <laughs> don't give her half of no goddamn baby. Don't bless her with your last name. Because if you do that, you, you already fucked up right there on the point. Why would you make a woman like that your wife? Why is she in your circle? The hell with that heifer, let her be. Leave it at the restaurant from them low vibration dudes. Them Pookie and Rayway we always talk about. They'll take that ragged ass heifer. Let them have them. Yeah, exactly. Instead of having a baby with her too. And then being mad. Like, you chose her. <laughs> like, you chose her. I don't... Yeah, I agree with, with Hink. You can't, uh, you can't create a family with somebody but the thing is this, most men already knew who they created a family with. That's why I have a problem. They know she's bad, they know she's not good for nothing. They understand her lifestyle, but she's pretty, she has that big butt, and they get her pregnant and still marry her. Because one of the started, one of the saddest things that we see today is men marrying women that they understand fully well that this woman will burn you. She will put you in a bad situation. She will rock your family. She's not interested in getting family. She wants you to put her higher than anyone else. She wants you to buy things for her. She wants you to take her to restaurants every day. She can't cook, she can't clean. She's dirty, but she's pretty. You can show her to your friends. She has all those aesthetics. Men sometimes do get themselves in trouble. We have to acknowledge that. And I'm sorry, there's a lot of men that do that out there. Not few men, a lot of men. A lot of men that you think that are responsible are irresponsible when it comes to choosing. Just like a lot of women um, um, choose the wrong guy or they leave the good guy for the bad guy. Not every woman does it. So, so goes men too. So we have to talk and balance it out. And some of us as men are just uh, rich but good for nothing. But um, for instance, please, if you don't have a family, if you don't have a husband and a wife, right, it's not a family. A family is not made up of baby mama and, and babies, a man, and, cho and, and children? No. A family is when a man and a woman come together to start a family. That is a family. As soon as you get divorced, right, it's no longer a family. It's a broken family. Widows are exceptional. We all know that. A widow or a widower, right, is, those are exceptional. But marriage a family goes with marriage. If marriage is not involved, it's not a family. If you live with somebody in a house and you guys start making babies, you're making babies. You're not, making, you're not building a family. A family has to do with either you go through the traditional route to get the blessing of both parents or you go through the uh, um, a court system with witnesses around. That's how a family is created. Um, all these things that we just wake up one day and then we create something out of the air and want, it to make, and want to make it our own culture, that is not how culture is built. I keep saying this. You can't wake up one day and say, oh, this is African-American culture. This is African culture. No. The elders have to come together. The elders have to say, this is our culture. And the people will then accept it before a culture is created. A culture is not a celebrity coming up tomorrow, um, getting some few guests to shake booties 
and then some knuckleheads out there say, oh, this is African-American culture. That is not African-American culture. That is not a culture. That is, a, that is something that you just create out of thin air. It might be, a, in some cases, it's a trend. A trend is not a culture. I, I, because I see people say this all the time. It's not, a, it's not how a culture is created. Until the black people in America, including us, come together with the elders, and the elders create a, a norm and say, this is what is going to be a culture. Now you have a culture. Until that happens, there is no culture. What we have in America is a system of law, regulations. That's all that, that is here. There is no culture here because the elders have not said so. And uh, there is no family either. There are families, I'm sorry. Uh, if, if wedding takes place, if there is a wedding, there is a traditional or, coach, or customary wedding, there is customary wedding or civil wedding or church wedding. Yes, that is, that is a family. If you don't go through any of those routes, I'm sorry. You don't have a family. If you live with someone in the house and you guys are having babies, the woman is on a lease. He's the, the guy is just renting you. He can return the car any day and the, re, and the lease is over. The hey, rent I, is over. So it's, yeah. I, am, I am a little confused. You said, you said that we don't have a culture in America? There is no culture in America. And I will tell you why there is no culture in America. Because no, no elder America has never, uh, let me just use black people in America as an example. There, are, there, have not, there is no any kind of elders in the black community coming together and craft a decree and say, this is our culture. The elders have not said it. The only culture that I know here that has been established is the jumping of the broom. When people get married, they join, they jump the broom. That is the only thing that I know that is close to a culture. Elders have to sit down. Elders have to discuss and agree amongst those men that this is how we operate. This is how we do things. That yeah, is when a culture is established. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I think that we do have cultures. We, we. Have tell me what is the culture? We have multiple cultures here. There, there no, was, no. there was a point where mm -hmm. um there was a point when black people were more unified and all of that other stuff during especially during the civil rights potentially before that there there were there were cultures uh even in the uh, early okay. even, even okay, in let, the, me, let me let me tell you why what you're saying it doesn't add up you can't say there was a time because culture never changed you, you can't say that there was a time because culture doesn't go by there was a time and if there is culture, you will name it to me and say, oh, this is culture. But, Let me tell you what culture is. But I'm, culture I'm is there, this. There's there's cultures in Africa. And I, and I can only because go off it, of what, Exactly. Let me, let, me finish. Let, me, let me finish. So there there are cultures in Africa, and, and this is from what, I'm, from what I'm receiving off mm -hmm. of the internet, right? There are some cultures in Africa that are stepping away from their more traditional cultures and opening up to to a new culture as to where they're inviting uh different things and different uh ways that they present uh themselves so i i, I think that culture i i understand what you're saying but i, I think that culture especially in america has that ability and potential to to change right we we have um we got we got rap culture hip-hop at one point that was a part of culture right those are trends those are not culture those are trends they're not culture people are just calling the culture and um, the, the black community is pushing back and saying that that is not a culture that is a trend in africa 
Uh, okay, those people that are telling you that Af um, Af Africans are stepping away from their culture. Yes, there are people that are stepping away from the culture, but Africa is not stepping away from the culture. That is why they tell you today that Africa is now bringing back the culture to teach you the kids. If not, our culture is going to be lost. And one thing mm -hmm. that you have to also understand, let me put this forward to you real quick. What you also have to understand in, uh, in, uh, in Africa is this, right? There are people in Africa that tend to do what pleases them. So they won't practice the culture when it doesn't please them. And then they will run back to the culture when it pleases them. It's just a human thing. But the culture is there. When you want to marry somebody's daughter, you have to follow that procedure. When you want to do anything, you have to follow it because the culture is stated. This is what you got to do. And if you can't, if you don't want to do it, you won't marry. That is the culture. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can agree with that. I, I think that there are a lot of subcultures in in America, um, Africa, across the, across the continent. I'm sure don't share similar cultures. Uh, there's areas that was invaded, and they no longer have certain cultures uh, where they where they carry it out fully and completely. So I, I get what you're saying, but but it's almost you're you're ignoring all of the cultures that is no. in America. And Kenny, he's uh, correct. No, no. You use the uh, word all. All is entirety. And I don't think that's fair to the conversation because there's a, either a majority or a minority within our construct as how we live in the United States compared to Africa. If you felt that sure. That's exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying, um, um, Kenny. What I'm saying is that there has not been any agreement yet. If we want to set a culture in America, there got to be people that will have to come up. Whatever is in existence that has been already here, they have to say, okay, this is our culture. Jumping off the broom is a unanimous agreement. There are other things that they can be implemented into the culture, but the elders have to speak so that that way it is established and then everybody of that cult, of that uh, race have to follow that culture. Africa has, okay, let me say this, Africa has almost 65%, I might not be right, of similar culture across Africa. That's why you see a Nigeria will tell an Ethiopia, oh, that's not our culture. And Ethiopia know what he's saying, even though they're about 2,000 or 3,000 miles apart from each other, right? It will be like, okay, I'm sorry, that's not our culture. Because as you go down the continent or as you go up the continent or as you spread across the continent, because we all moved away from one place, so we took the culture with us. In, in, in America here, there are many things that African America do, African American um, um, brothers and sisters do here that are very similar to African culture very very similar but it has not been established yet so that people will understand that this is what guides us oh, that's why i keep pushing go ahead there's, there's there's still so many different types of culture in america it's even in even in the black community again we we have hip-hop culture we we have gang culture which is essentially unified all across the country uh we have police culture we have religious religion that's a culture like there's there's so many different cultures that spread out across this country that that you can't sit here and say that th that that there's no culture here that that's you, you win the argument you win the discussion as for pushback when he uses the word all or every because that that would not be correct what you fell short is trying to say what they introduce in africa which is getting heavy pushback they're introducing normalizing homosexuality um getting away from polygamy is a regular thing in certain places and um being more free as for women to be traditional as we do over here and take away from the structure that they already established over there that's been successful for centuries but it's, as for over here he does have a point we don't have big mama no more we, we 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 went through the baby boomers went through the crack era we went through 
single moms being empowered by government forces and taking dads out of the home. You understand? So he does have a point. There is a portion that lacks that substance. The symbolism of the nuclear family is going astray, if not more evident than the discussions that we've been having the pushback of how women treat men, how men treat women, even today within given discussions. If you if you peeped it while you were sipping your mimosa, women oh, are go. inclined. <laughs> no, salute, salute. I'm not dissing you. Even though he took an hour. So um <laughs> it was two watch, glasses, man. Come on, you, man. God, you watch man. women interject <laughs> and try to spin your thinking on how they felt about given situations rather than the dynamic if you were doing and following the elders, how big mama and big papa used to be, that would fit. But now they're empowered to use certain words and they don't take onus of them. But if you use those words to them, your words become harmful and they land on them. But, but and the thing, you gotta, the thing, the thing yeah. is, in that situation, in my opinion, I think that that is now the culture that is now a part of the culture. OK, and so how you're saying it, are you in acceptance? Is it are you OK with it? No. My, my my point my point in saying that is that there are different subcultures in, in America. So the biggest difference of what I can only assume because I've never been I've never lived in Africa. I don't know fully the African laws and so on and so forth. But in America, America has always been set on you being able to think, feel and do whatever the fuck you want to under under the constitution of the law right america for whom let's let's not get into that can i can i interject and say something after you finish this absolutely okay so so with that being said with with us being able to acknowledge all of the different cultures that happens in america and subcultures that happen in black america then I, there's an option for you to either abide by this culture or for you to reject it so that's that's my perspective on it I, I just because um there was a culture that we used to eat or still do eat pig intestines that was something that i never chose to take to take uh, a part of you mean you know, so that doesn't mean that i'm less you're speaking cultural. of chitlins right chitlins right yeah. So that, that doesn't mean that I'm less cultural or less of a black person because I don't eat chitlins It's because I choose not to eat chitlins. So we're in a position to where at one point you may have had to eat chitlins to survive. And now we're at a point where that's an option. So I, I think that it's still different cultures that that you can take heed of that happens every single day in america 